guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina and in this video, I will be showing you a detailed tutorial on my wash day routine. I'm sure that we all have more than one washing routine. We have one for when we are in a hurry. We have one for when we have time and want to give love to our hair. We also have a simple one that is just that, a routine. And one for when we haven't touched our hair for weeks. That is when we've been wearing a protective style, weeks without conditioning our hair, and we know that it needs hydration, nutrition. And that is the routine I want to share with you guys. This routine has helped me to keep my hair long and healthy these last few years. It's ideal to retain the length of your hair and prevent breakage. So let's get started. When I have a protective style like braids, cornrows or twists, I like to apply natural hair growth remedies during the protective style. So my hair accumulates product feels crunchy and I cannot style hair like that. So before I start manipulating my hair, the first thing I do is rinsing all the products out of my hair. Most of the hair growth treatment I use are water-based, so it comes out with water. I just hop in the shower and let the water run through my hair. When my hair is completely rinsed, I proceed to oil my hair and scalp, and that's gonna be in the pre pull process. For the pre pull, we're going to be mixing a few vegetable oils. First, I'm gonna be using shea butter, which is rich in vitamins A, D, E, and F. It creates a greasy layer around the hair, which is perfect to protect our hair during the shampoo process. Next, coconut oil which at least in my case gives my hair softness and I need the hair to be soft and slippery where I take out the braids. Don't use coconut oil if your hair doesn't like it. The next oil I'm gonna be using is olive oil. I like it for its high content of vitamin E. Vitamin E keeps the scalp healthy due to its antioxidant power and also stimulates hair growth. Again, Use the oils that your hair like the most because what we are looking for is to make the hair manageable when removing the protective style. Okay, I'm gonna be using 3 tablespoons of shea butter, 3 tablespoons of coconut oil and 3 of olive oil. I'm gonna melt and mix everything together well and when the 3 oils are well mixed, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it to my applicator. I love brewing my hair with oils guys. It is so necessary for me because this way I really make sure the shampoo will not strip my hair and I have to take down the braids. So covering the strands in oil helps a lot. The strands slip between them easily, the hair is less matted and it's so easy to take those singles out without breaking the hair. I'm gonna start by applying a good amount of my pre oil all over the hair. I'm making sure that every braid is covered in oil. And now I can start taking down each braid. I'm applying more oil if I feel like I need to. And when I'm done taking the braid down, I will apply conditioner or hair mask to add an extra slip and condition to detangle the hair. I'm taking my tangle teaser and detangle from the tip up to the top. And as you can see, it's so easy to detangle. Now the section is detangled, so I'm gonna go ahead and twist it back up. Cause when it gets dry, you know, for the hair is gonna tangle again, and we don't want that. I'm gonna repeat the same process with every single braid. I apply water if I need to, more oil and conditioner, detangle from the tip up to the top, and twist it back up. I'm done taking down and detangling all sections, so let's go with the shampoo process. Something that I really like is washing my hair into two sections. So I went ahead and rinse out the first half and apply the
Lipstick Shampoo. Of course, I take every single opportunity to make my hair grow. So I'm gonna be using my Hair Growth Coffee Shampoo. You already have the tutorial on the channel, so go ahead and watch it. Coffee has demonstrated to be really effective growing my hair faster. So of course, I include it in my wash day routine. And yes, I'm washing my hair in twist. This is the best way to wash your hair, guys, if you really want to retain length. It makes the washing process easier and faster because you won't need to worry about your hair getting matted again during the shampoo, especially if you like detangling your hair before hoping in the shower. After I proceed to style, I like to double shampoo my hair to completely eliminate accumulated products and impurities from my hair and scalp. As you can see, I really go through my scalp, massage my scalp, and drag the shampoo onto my strands. I normally don't focus too much on my strands, but I'm coming out of a protective style and everything needs to be watched. You may think that washing your hair in twist will not let you clean the scalp very well, but I promise, I promise that those twists are not going to be an inconvenient at all to clean your scalp. You will definitely have enough room to get your fingers through the scalp and clean it well. After washing my hair, I'm going to go ahead and rinse out the shampoo and once my hair has been rinsed out thoroughly, it's time to go in with a hair mask. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare an avocado hair mask with half an avocado, three tablespoons of hair mask, and three tablespoons of coconut oil. When I know my hair needs nutrition, normally after a protective style, the hair needs nutrition, hydration, and everything, I love adding or complementing my hair products with natural ingredients. Avocado, in this case, it's full of vitamins A, D, E, B6. It's also high in proteins, amino acid, magnesium, folic acid, copper, and iron, which is perfect to moisturize, repair, and strengthen my hair. And as a result, we have a super moisturizer, nourishing creamy hair mask. Let's go with the application. I will be applying my avocado hair mask in twist because it's not good to detangle the hair. It's very nutritious and beneficial for my hair cuticles, but it's not good for detangling my hair. So you can see I'm totally coating my hair with my avocado hair mask. Once I'm done applying the hair mask to all section, I'm gonna put a shower cap to allow all of the nutrients to absorb into the hair more efficiently and I will let it sit on my hair for 10 to 15 minutes. 15 minutes later, I'm gonna rinse out the mask and let's go with the last step of our hair care routine. I'm gonna go ahead and take each twist and twist it, apply a good amount of styling cream and on top of that, a little bit of oil. Take my tangle teaser and I'm going to detangle from ends to the roots to make sure my hair is completely detangled and smooth. Then I'm gonna twist it again for a few days. Girl, you have to try this wash day routine if you want to retain length. This routine is one of my top five secrets to grow my natural hair super long. I'm applying more oil to my middle and ends so that when I take the twist out, the hair does not break. Now my hair is thoroughly clean, my hair is super soft, my hair is moisturized, my hair is super long. <laughs> Well guys, this is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to grow your hair faster and longer. Love you all and see you guys in my next one. Bye!